When I found out I was HIV positive, I just knew that my life was over. That was the end. I was actually in a suicide state of mind because if I had to die the way I saw the people die on TV, I, I just wanted to just end my own, my own self, you know? But every day was just, I just describe it as a black day, as a gray day, as a day without sunshine, even if the sun was bright. I just was so isolated, lost all human contact, um, just, just loneliness and desperation. I uh, was in show business, and when the parade passed by, I was back in L.A. and uh, got homeless, got tested, and found out I was HIV positive. I felt like the whole world had caved in, and there was no hope for me. In my mind, I sort of thought, man, this is the end. But through Common Ground, through the support of Common Ground, I found out you can live with this and live well with this. I belong to the group, a support group. That's one of the main things that's helped me is to be able to talk about it, to say what I feel, anger, happiness, wherever I am at the moment. And when you let it out, it sort of like goes into the universe and it's not such a strain on you because sometimes if you don't get to talk about things, they bog down and they make you heavy. And you're already, you already have HIV, so you don't need to be heavier. Thank goodness from Common Ground, I think I wouldn't have made it without them. Before I went to Common Ground, I was on Xanax, I was on the couch, I wasn't participating in life, I was sleeping all the time, I, I, couldn't, I wasn't cooking dinner, I wasn't taking my kids out, I was so unhappy, and I really didn't know why. But I'm feeling good, my thyroid test came back all back to normal. Oh good. Yeah, so that's oh, really good. good. I can't live with this disease alone, I need help. I, I need to take care of me. And Common Ground helps me take care of me. <laughs> Common Ground is about the client. That's what I like. Um, there, and it doesn't matter if you're a homeless kid off the street or if you live on Wilshire Boulevard. They treat everyone as equal as anybody else. I like that. I just like belonging somewhere where I'm accepted for what I am. I had this idea that I would, I would learn how to groom dogs and I remember talking to my case manager, Jamie, at the time and I said, Jamie, I want to go to school and learn how to groom dogs and, you know, to a lot of people that would sound like a pipe dream or a silly idea and she just said to me and I can so clearly remember the look on her face and where we were and she said, Jeff, that is such a perfect idea for you. And let's go talk about it. Let's tell me what you're doing. How can I help? Can I be a reference? And she was, and she helped. And today I own the largest grooming salon on the west side of Los Angeles, and that's no small accomplishment. A lot of the kids out here are at risk. But when you're running around on the streets, the risk is there, and it's high because you have nothing. And a lot of people, when they have nothing, will do anything they can to get something. What Common Ground does is they say, okay, we have this population of at risk. We want to educate them to keep them from engaging in risky behaviors. Even if it's as much as just empowering them as a person and raising their own self-awareness and their own self-consciousness, then that in itself is a service. I really, really appreciate everything they have done as far as feeding me, making sure I had hygiene, deodorant, 
something that I need. <laughs> and not just that, housing. What a wonderful thing is that. I ate because of Common Ground. I got my medication because of Common Ground. And I got not just that, I got mental health. I got emotional help, and I mean everyone there at Common Ground is involved in your life and they really care about you. They're supportive in every way. I'm able to release the part of the Common Ground gave me three major things you need, food, housing, and clothing. I've got them now, so now I can really start working on myself, you know. I enjoy volunteering here. They came to me and asked me if I would be interested. I was homeless, you know, uh, going from homeless to answering phones. You know, it's showing me that I can do things. Since I've been going to come ground, I feel that I got a hold of this virus and that I can go out there and face the world and, and hold my head high. I'm so empowered. And I know having an organization to back behind me, I can't, I can't lose. My life has changed dramatically from being alone, not working, isolated, and, and just in the throes of, of depression, in the throes of, of, of no self-respect, of, of no self-esteem. Today, my life is, is as good a life as I could ever have imagined. Good morning, Common Ground. Common Ground and places like Common Ground are necessities because there are many people out there that have their family members shun them, society shun them. They need some place to go, a haven. I wouldn't have survived without them. I wouldn't have. If you feel that uh, you have no means, uh, no, no other way out, Common Ground is the way out. Because you can go there, their doors are open. They are there for you. Common Ground, the Westside HIV Community Center works to bring diverse members of the West Side community together in the fight against AIDS. We provide social services and public education programs. We ensure that people of diverse cultural backgrounds, those living in poverty, youth, and people who are homeless, are able to access our services. <laughs>